Noted Chinese economist Wu Jinglian said at a summit held this week that investment channels for most Chinese are still narrow, with the household savings rate remaining high and virtually unchanged for the last two decades. Wu Jinglian, a researcher at the Development Research Center under the State Council, or China's Cabinet, made the remarks at the 2014 China Green Company Summit held this week in Nanning, capital of South China's Guangxi Zhuang Autonomous Region. Wu said that the savings rates for China's government and businesses have risen significantly over the past two decades, but that the household savings rate has remained largely unchanged. The proportion of household savings in China's GDP was 20% in 1992 and remained the same in 2012. On the other hand, the figure for government savings rose to 9% in 2012 from 4.4% 4 .4 in 1992. Business savings also doubled, so investments are mostly made by the government and businesses. In recent years, local governments have endeavored to attract investment from large state-owned enterprises. Wu warned that a high household savings rate and narrow investment outlets will make it hard for the government to boost consumption. He also called for reforms in the capital market to make financing more accessible to medium and small-sized enterprises. In 2009, the central government's 4 trillion yuan bailout package mostly went to state-owned enterprises. With this large amount of money, the companies didn't hesitate to rent into the real estate market. The root of the problems lies in the system. According to Wu, China's capital market is fragmented, unbalanced, uncompetitive, and dominated by administrative regulation. Our capital market is very abnormal. It's not a real market based on rules. The only way out of the current problem is reform. We can only solve this problem fundamentally by establishing a new mechanism by 2020.